It's the longest river in France, but also the last that's still pretty much wild, the Loire. Its untamed nature and picture postcard landscapes have inspired the greatest artists. But today, pollution, climate change, and mass tourism are seriously threatening its biotope. Eric Beaugendre, a guide from the Maison de la Loire, regularly takes members of the public on walks to raise their awareness. This afternoon, we'll be walking for about an hour to discover the Loire and the surrounding nature on its banks, especially the trees. Is this from an ash tree? It's part of an ash leaf. Let me explain. The ash leaf is composed of Look, this is a whole ash leaf. You've traced just a small part of one, but that's enough. It's known as a leaflet. Can you tell me what they're doing? These students from near the Alps are discovering the plants and animals that live on the sandy banks of the Loire. Field study that's both practical and fun for these youngsters. I've learned to recognize stones and the leaves of trees, too. What did you like best? Watching the ducks. I loved that. I learned that beavers eat... Oh, yeah, tree bark. Same place, different group. This evening, Eric is taking members of his association to observe beavers. There's a tunnel up to the island. We have a chance of seeing one there. After two hours of observation, only one beaver has shown its whiskers. It doesn't matter that not all of the association members managed to catch a glimpse of the animal. The main thing is spending an evening on the banks of the Loire. On a human level, we realize the need to connect with nature, especially as city dwellers. This is a plunge back into nature. We're lucky to live not far from the Loire, with all its possibilities for exploring, which are accessible to everyone. Animals, birds, flowers, tons of things, trees, fish, all kinds of fish. One of the riches of the river is its aquatic life. In the last century, thousands of salmon would come to breed in the Loire, bringing in a fortune for fishermen. But today, they are few and far between, and their place has been taken by a much larger fish, the Wells catfish. Originally from Eastern Europe, it was introduced into France in the 1970s. Since then, it has been present in all French rivers. From one to two meters long and weighing in at around 100 kilos, it's a genuine trophy fish for anglers. This is a small one. But also a danger for the ecosystem. The Wells catfish has become the number one species in the Loire. And as it's a super predator, it prevents the development of other fish populations. This adds to the risks of extinction of other species, like the big migratory fish. But it's not only these predators that threaten the fish of the Loire. The proliferation of river weed is also having a big impact on water quality. The sad thing is the water looks clean because it's pretty clear. But when you look closely, there's a lot of river weed floating around in the Loire. And this is due to an invasive mollusk originally from the Mekong. So we have a Southeast Asian river taking over the Loire. 
This Asian shellfish eats the phytoplankton, which usually filters nitrates produced by intensive farming. A disaster, which has caused this buildup of riverweed. In the long term, another phenomenon threatens the Loire. Every summer, the water level is a little lower. So the state authorities have constructed dams to maintain a minimum level of water on the riverbed. But what about tomorrow? If global warming continues to rise, scientists estimate that in 2050, the water level of the Loire could be halved. 